Hello everybody and welcome to a new playthrough. In this one, I'm going to be doing a Corin Quest run of Fire Emblem Fates Conquest on hard. Now, if you are unaware what a Corin Quest is, basically is a run where I only use Corins. And the magical thing about it is that you can submit Corins for me to use. There will be a uh, poll, a uh, Google form, in the description, which you can fill out, and I will accept your Corin. And every time there are new slots in the uh, deployment, like uh, spots for me to deploy people, uh, I will do a random raffle between the remaining Corins, and it, whoever gets chosen gets added to the game. And, uh, yeah. If you die, I will not reset for your Corins, and that will be your chance used up at being in the game. So yeah, this seems like fun. I already have a squad for Chapter 8. I went ahead and played through the uh, prologue chapters because you don't get deployment, and then I played Chapter 7 as well, because that's only corn and one other. I think that would be really boring to uh, do. Wouldn't be that different. So yeah, went on to Chapter 8, and so we have a nice squad. So here's the Lord character. I made him a Lodestar with Aptitude and Miracle. Next we have uh, Cheems the Fighter, with uh, Ignis and Axebreaker. Then there is Datsun, the Apothecary, with Salvage Blow and Witch's Brew. Next we have Helic, the Nor Prince, very original, uh, with Hoshidian Unity and Aether. Then we have Cornwall, the Armor Knight, with Grizzly Wound and Luck plus four. And last but not least, we have Darneel, the Outlaw, with Armored Blow and Heartseeker. Truly a tanky outlaw. But yeah, with that out of the way, let's begin. Oh, uh, we don't have any healers, whereas we should have Whoa. two um. if we were playing the game normally, of course. Which we aren't. Yeah, we could do Paralog 1, but I'm set up for Chapter 8, so let's do this one. Hmm. Alright. Now, I am no expert at, uh, fates. I am not at all. So I expect this to be a very bloody playthrough. There should be plenty of opportunities for you guys to get your corns in. Now luckily these enemies are not that scary. I think our corns are well suited for this map. Even if we don't have a healer, we have vulneraries. Can get that village on turn one. We also have two archers, so that's a little resting. Actually, yeah, I'd rather have you grab the village. I think this guy automatically grabs this on turn one. This guy moves towards one of them. Not sure which. Anyways, let's begin the run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody plays this game for the plot, okay? Yo, a strength tonic. Thank you, based witches brew. Wait, does that include tonics? Hmm. I'm interested to see. That could be a fun synergy, if so.
I guess I could pair you up for the res on Alan. Oh wait, why'd I do that? <laughs> I don't know why. Here they come. The darkness whispers. Slightly laggy <sighs> Odin voice. But yeah, units who show up mid-map. I'm going to allow myself to use for that map, but afterwards. Uh, I will not be using them. Yeah, I destroy these guys. Alan's too powerful. He's not too powerful against the mage, though. Those, uh, are threatening. That's what dual gauges are for. I guess Niles can bait out one of them. I'm okay with that. Can you use Dragon Veins? No. These Corins cannot. Okay, you weren't supposed to get hit by that 23% axe. We might actually have a reset. Because that was really unlucky. fine. Uh, arguably. I'm gonna move on to these woods and heal. This guy not even attacked? Yeah, he chose not to. Huh. I forgot that AI were allowed to just be like, nah, I don't feel like attacking. Kind of obnoxious, if I'm being honest. I'm gonna go for it. That's him. Let's see, what does the skill do? Gotcha. And then this does. Okay. Alec is... Well, they're both squishy. Difference is, uh... You have less HP. I guess we'll go on with the cheems. Oh, it's an Ignis proc. Ignis proc that didn't matter. Okay, we're getting hit by all the Wilkerson's. <laughs> so that's 8 plus 8 plus 6, so that's 16, 22. As long as I can kill one of them. Yeah, as long as I kill one of them, you'll be safe. I will go for it. Barely don't one shot. I guess I'll use Helix since you have a uh, dual gauge. Up and ready. Bait anybody out useful? I don't think so. Good. Go grab that, uh, house though.
I guess you can chip and then... You can finish the deal. Uh, yeah. So you're gonna use a freeze. I switch. Hmm. If only I could switch and then move. I mean, I guess I can. We'll just switch this turn. Next turn, we can grab that. I should probably try and bait you out with somebody. Or I can just start rolling. I'd rather do that. Oh no, dudes. I'm just gonna visit this. I don't care if Odin and Niles die. I'm not gonna be using them. If they can die doing something useful, then I'm all for it. healers when you have vulnerable. Honestly. Uh -oh. You can bait this guy up. gonna die, but he'll uh, have died. Soaking up. Freeze uses. That's a useful death. And also chipping guys as well. Also useful. I do need to take these guys out though. Oh yeah, you have Axe Breaker. Uh, you do. You have 75 avoid against these guys. Yeah, they'd basically be unable to hit you. Practically, anyways. Please hit. Good. Oh. We might still be living. Also, you just got hit, even though you had access. I feel like every skill proc is going to be pointless in this run. Hmm. 
Niles was fine. He's just chilling. Doing as good as he's ever been. I bait out both of these guys. And be perfectly fine. But we'll have you do this. Okay, that was an actual useful ether because it healed you. And Niles is dead. Oh well, I'm not too torn up about that one. In fact, I'm really not at all. Kill Flora real quick. I want to die real quick. Oh wait, now you're in this guy's range. Oh, you'll be fine. You have a uh, gauge, a full gauge. Those are three good stats, we'll take them. Alright, now don't get hit by this act, please. Good. I mean, actually, ah, oh, dang it. Already moved, so I can't cancel. Oh well. I was gonna say, I'd get a dual gauge if I attacked, so that'd be safe, but oh well. Oh well. Take those. Bulky Boutwar. Hacker takes half damage. Oh, non-adjacent. This would be adjacent, so it would be fine. Cool. 
Her hit rate's good, but sadly not good enough. I'm gonna rely on the deck here. Alright, one guy remains. This is completely safe. Yes, it is. All right. Nice. All right. Well, that was an easy chapter, unsurprisingly, seeing as it is, well, not the first, but All the right. second conquest chapter. And I also have unusual units. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed that and it uh, encouraged you guys to send over a corn for me. So yeah, I will see you all on the next one. Peace out.